Hello friends, welcome to Shelter in Place. Scripture, inspiration, prayer, take a sip of life. I stand at the door and knock, says the Lord. What a wonderful privilege that the Lord of all creation desires to come to me. I welcome his presence. 1 Chronicles 29, 10b-15 to NLT O Lord, the God of our ancestor Israel, may you be praised for ever and ever. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. Everything in the heavens and on earth is yours, O Lord, and this is your kingdom. We adore you as the one who is over all things. Wealth and honor come from you alone, for you rule over everything. Power and might are in your hand, and at your discretion people are made great and given strength. O oh, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. But who am I, and who are my people, that we could give anything to you? Everything we have has come from you, and we give you only what you first gave us. We are here for only a moment, visitors and strangers in the land, as our ancestors were before us. Our days on earth are like a passing shadow, gone so soon without a trace. Glenn Holland had a lifetime of plans to write a symphony that's what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And to raise a family. Radio City Music Hall is proud to present Coltrane, Gershwin, Holland. But before he can fulfill his dreams. We should do nothing but compose music and become famous. He'll have to face the music. It was good. A teacher has two jobs. Nobody could teach these children. Fill young minds with knowledge. You're telling me that you cannot teach a willing kid to bang a drum? But more important, give those minds a compass. Turn around and keep marching left, right, left. It's a compass. You're stuck. Now you're going a little too fast, a little too erratically, just a little. There you go. OK, what have we learned from this? Mr. Holland, it has come to my attention that you are teaching the students rock and roll. I will use anything from Beethoven to rock and roll if I think it will help teach a student to love music. Now, despite life's disappointments... There's something wrong with Cole. What? I don't think he can hear. Despite life's frustrations... You go off to school every day with all of your children who are normal. I can't talk to my son. You care more about teaching other people than you do about me. Glenn Holland possessed the passion to overcome it all. I'm giving up the car now. I just wanted to say thanks. What do you like best about yourself? My hair. Why? Um, my father always says that it reminds him of a sunset. Play the sunset. I got dragged into this gig kicking and screaming, and now it's the only thing I want to do. You know, the big problem here is that you people are willing to create a generation of children who will not have the ability to think. We've done the best that we can. Your best is not good enough. For 30 years, Glenn Holland found a way to make a difference. Mr. Russ, congratulations, you found the beat. And of all the lives he changed, the one that changed the most was his own. Mr. Holland, of all the teachers here, you're my favorite. This beautiful and inspiring film will motivate us, if we allow it, to make us want to give back to God what he has given us. We are only here for a moment, visitors and strangers in the land. While we're here, we have the opportunity to get to know God's glorious name, his character, his presence, who he is and what he's like. What's more, he invites us and wants us to reflect his glory by using what he's given us for him. 
To quote a character in this moving film, we are your symphony, we are the melodies and the notes of your opus, and we are the music of your life. What symphony is God writing in your life that others may better hear, feel, and experience the great love of God? O oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord, by being and doing all that he created us to be and do. God is glorious. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.